Hi everyone, so in this video I will talk about how to set up a plain TypeScript project. Sometimes you may want to have a TypeScript project without any framework or you are getting started with TypeScript and want to learn and to experiment. In this video we will do it with npm and webpack. We will have a runnable and debuggable TypeScript project. And so in order to get started you must install Node.js to get the npm tool and also install VS Code as a development environment so it is all free and easy to get started. So Webpack will be used as a bundler which will bundle the TypeScript code into a JavaScript file and I will basically go through the guide of the Webpack page here. Here is how to get started and how to install and configure TypeScript and also how to enable debugging via source mapping. So I have opened VS Code in an empty folder. There is no source code yet. And the first thing I'm going to do is open the terminal here. And now I will start initializing the npm. I say npm init and hyphen y. With that command I will initialize npm project. And hyphen y says I skip all the questions which are being asked. And so with that we have created a package JSON file. And this covers some scripts, how to start and build your application. And it will also contain all the dependencies for your project. And now I will install some dependencies via the npm tool. And first I want to install webpack and then I say npm install webpack and also webpack cli and then hyphen hyphen save dev and this means that it is a development dependency needed for development only and then in the package JSON you see a new entry for development dependencies with the specified dependencies and what I'm also installing is npm install and I want to have typescript and ts loader and I also say hyphen hyphen save dev. So this is needed for TypeScript and transpilation. And next we should create some source files. We want to have an index.html file and a TypeScript source file. So at first I create a folder. You can actually name the folder however you like. There's no naming convention, I just call it source. You only have to make sure to configure web app correctly. So I create the source folder and here in the source folder I create a new file index typescripts. So this is the file where our typescript code goes. And also next I create another folder here. It will be this folder. This is the distribution folder where the result goes. And here I will create a new file and this is the index.html file. So for the index.html file I have pretty much copy pasted it from the getting started guide from webpack. So there's not much here yet. Uh, you see only head and body and it, is, it has a script tag. It is referencing a bundle javascript file. The bundle javascript file does not exist yet. It will be available after we have compiled index typescript. So the next thing we should uh, take care of is configuring typescript. For that we will create another file here and let's call it tsconfig.json and also for the TypeScript JSON I have pretty much copy pasted it from the webpack guide so you see here some, some kind of uh, compiler options the output directory source map specifies that you create a source map, inline source map it, and it enables debuggers to deploy the original TypeScript code. And this one here, no implicit any, just throws errors when some types are implicitly typed as any. The module option here pretty much specifies the module system or defines how you import modules. The target version of, your, of the emitted JavaScript file. And LOJS says you, you allow JavaScript to be part of your TypeScript code. And that's it so far. And now we must create the Webpack configuration file. For that we create here a new file. 
and it's called webpack config js and also for the webpack configuration i have pretty much copy pasted it from the webpack page and here you see here we are directing webpack to load all the typescript all the ts or tsx files via the ts loader and output a bundle javascript file in the dist folder so here are a couple of options like the mode the development mode i have specified here the entry point is the index typescript in our source folder and also dev tools this is important for debuggers you will specify that we have inline source map here's a rule set for modules load all the ts or tsx files via ts loader some resolve extensions and output in a bundle javascript file in the dist folder and now we probably should write some typescript code let's go into the, the index typescript file here and let's just experiment a little bit let's create a class here i call it helper and we define a public method and i'll say it component and here I can just do something like creating a variable element and I access the document and I just create a div, create element and here I say I want to have a div and I can say element so in our HTML and I can say just type some text here hello how are you and then just return the element and specify the return type let's say html div element and i don't know just here below let's access the document again then body and then append a child and just create a new helper and call the component method so with that we create a div element where it has just this text here and add it as to the body as a child. And now we are at the point where we want to bundle the project and take a look at the result HTML page. And so for that we must go to this package.json file and here in the script section we must uh, specify some script commands. So we can specify one, we call it a bundle and with the bundle command we just call webpack with this bundle command we call webpack and webpack will bundle our typescript code into the javascript code and we can just simply call it with npm run bundle and so after it has been finished you take a look at the dist folder and you suddenly see the bundle javascript file so this is the, the code, the result JavaScript code, and you see also the source map, the inline source map, which is important for debuggers. Uh, so I am here in the dist folder, and I want to open the index.html file. And you see this is the result. So this is what I have written in TypeScript. Bundling and opening the HTML file manually is not what you want. So what we want is to start a live server for the web application. We want to watch for changes and rebundle after changes has been detected and redeploy the web application automatically. So for that we first should install some more npm dependencies. Let's go back to the terminal and then let's say here npm install npm run all hyphen hyphen dev save dev so with this npm run all tool we can run several npm commands in parallel this is what we are going to need and also what we need is we should install another dependency the live server this will be the live server where our application will be deployed and yeah, now let's go back to the script section here in the package.json file. Let's create some more script commands. 
The first one we're going to do is here we create a watch command and this will be calling webpack with hyphen hyphen watch and this will instruct to watch webpack for code changes and also let's create another script with we call it serve and for that we specify to change into the dist folder and then call live server and at last let's create another script command let's do it here let's call it start and so for the start thing several things will be happening at first we run npm run bundle so that means at first we bundle our project, we do a fresh build and then we call npm run all to run several commands in parallel and we call the watch command and also the serve command. Alright, so let's try that out. Let's say npm run start. And you see it has started a live server with here localhost 8080. So the, my page has been deployed to the live server. Okay, so I have uh, realigned my setup. I've set the browser on the side and VS Code on the other side. And I would like to check if the code detection changes are working. So let's go to the TypeScript file here. And um, let's change the text here. I am written in TypeScript and if I save this file I should see the changes uh, here and there you go it's working so the live code detection is working really good alright so the last thing we should check is if debugging is possible so let's create here a breakpoint and then in the VS Code you can go here to the debug section, run and debug, and you may want to start a Chrome. So VS Code will create a launch JSON file. This configures how the you know the launching is done. It will call this URL, localhost 8080, that's already correct. You can just basically leave it as it is. And um, then you can just click here on start debugging. And it has and as you see, um, I am now here at this breakpoint. So the, the debugging with breakpoints and uh, source mapping is working properly. And you see the web page is still loading because my debugger has stopped uh, the, the, the page. And yeah, if I resume here and go back to the browser, it has been finished. Alright, so that was a lot of manual copy-pasting and creating files, etc. But there is some relief for that. So in this web page here, create app dev slash webpack. Um, it is a tool to you know generate a project for you. You make sure to create here to select webpack, and it automatically creates files for you. The index HTML, index JavaScript. Okay, so you need to go here into transpile and enable. TypeScript and this will automatically transform it to TypeScript and it will create a TypeScript configuration for you here automatically create webpack configuration with TS loader etc and you can specify if you want a library I have no library and yeah so let's take a look at the package JSON it has already some scripts here to bundle your project and um, if you are done, you can just download this as a zip file. And so for the downloaded zip file, however, there are still some manual to-dos, like for instance, enabling source mapping in the TypeScript config and Webpack config for your debugger, and also installing tools for deployment via live server, like npm run all and live server, and also creating the scripts for, you know, uh, starting Webpack in watch mode, or serve and um, 
the start command to bundle and run the uh, live server with uh, webpack in watch mode. Alright, that's it for the TypeScript quick start guide. Thanks for watching. So, have a nice day and goodbye.